Hoyt van Hoytema is a Dutch Swedish cinematographer from Horgen, Switzerland. He studied at Lodz National Film School and is now a well established cinematographer in the United States. Some of his most notable pieces of work include Interstellar, Ad Astra, Tenet, Her, The Fighter, and Dunkirk. His work on Dunkirk earned him a nomination for Best Cinematography in the 2018 Academy Awards. One of the reasons that I like Van Hoytema's cinematography is because he takes a naturalistic approach to his movies. One example of this can be seen when he needs to shoot virtual effects. He likes to capture the effects in camera with practical effects to keep as much realism and naturalistic texture to the movie. He'd rather stay out of the computer and get things done in camera and add CGI later if needed. He has worked closely with director Christopher Nolan over the years, who is also a fan of practical shooting methods. In their latest collaboration, Tenant, there is an airplane scene where an airplane crashes into a building from the runway. It is not through virtual effects that they do this. They use the real airplane that drove through a set building with rigged fake explosions that seem as real as possible. He believes that CGI doesn't look as interesting and can actually be boring and take away from a film. Other practical effects he's seen can be shot in this car crash from the same movie, the beach bombing scene in Dunkirk, and the other world building locations they filmed for Interstellar. Another thing that Van Hoytsema likes to do is use naturalistic lighting to give his movies a heightened sense of reality. Like in this scene, there is very harsh sunlight. This is similar to what you would find if you were to be in space. He feels it makes audiences draw in closer and help immerse them into the film itself. Occasionally, he'll even make stylistic choices with his lighting. For example, in the movie Ad Astra, he uses different colors in certain scenes. This can be to suggest emotion, and often the color comes from practical lights on set. This adds even more believability to the film for the viewers. Lastly, I wanted to cover how he shoots handheld. Something I've noticed in his work is that he likes to keep the camera moving. Even though he has his fair share of long still shots, shooting handheld is still very common when he's behind the camera. He's even filmed it with a large IMAX camera on his shoulder, something you don't see very often. He tends to shoot handheld because he keeps fluidity throughout the movie and creates a deeper connection for us to follow when watching a character. This allows us as viewers to get closer and really enter their world. In conclusion, Hoyts van Hoytsema has a very naturalistic approach when shooting movies. This is something that I appreciate when watching. His style is centered around realism, which I think doesn't just add to the believability, but also adds to the experience when watching. <laughs>